here to do a video demo of the 1958 Gibson LG2. Um, I will talk a little bit about the cosmetic condition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of playing and do some video sound clips. Um, this is not a pro video because I'm not a pro, so uh, excuse any mistakes, they're completely mine. Um, I'm also going to record some sound clips through a much better microphone. This is happening through a phone. Um, we all know what sound can be like through a phone, so uh, I, I want to record some through some actual microphones. or click through to that to maybe get a better idea of exactly what the tone is, uh, but wanted you to also see this guitar in action. So this is a 1958 LG2 small-bodied guitar. Cosmetically, it is in really good condition. Uh, no refinish, no overspray, original pickguard. Uh, original bridge, uh, the, the, the pins have been replaced. Um, I'm sure that the uh, bridge saddle has been replaced at some point in time. Um, the, uh, the, the tuners are not original on this, but we did get the uh, period white button tuners. However, we do have the original tuners, so those will be included with the sale. Um, the holes have not been bushed out, so if you actually, there's a, a, a pin for these new ones. Um, that goes into the oversized hole, so the, uh, the holes have not been bushed out to fit these uh, new ones. Um, you can drop the originals in completely as is if you would like to do that. Um, everything else is uh, really great about this guitar. It has um, the type of uh, lacquer checking that you would expect from a guitar of this age. It's got all of the sort of requisite um, 60 years of uh, dings and things like that, but um, nothing major structurally uh, with this except that we have right here by the pick guard to the bridge um, a little bit of a crack. It is not a very deep crack. It has not been cleated. Um, no issues. It is completely stable. There is also, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this, but you will be able to see it in the photos, a crack along here on the back. It also has not been cleated. Um, no overspray to the lacquer that has happened there. Um, it, uh, it is completely stable. It has not enlarged. There are no issues with it. Um, you certainly can take it to a luthier and get it cleated if you wanted to go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, this is in great condition. I had this refretted about four months ago, so the frets are uh, very nice and level and high, and the thing plays like butter. Um, it has an incredibly awesome vintage Gibson sound to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit here. Um, I'll start with a flat pick, and then I'll go ahead and do some finger picking things. But again, I'm going to do some sound clips, so go ahead and check those sound clips through a more professional microphone as well. So first with a flat pick. <laughs> So first with a sound pick. So first with a flat pick. guitar you can't always overdrive these a whole lot uh, it has what I would call a very fundamental tone uh, not a lot of overtones a lot of uh, very dry woody type of a sound to it um, it is great for uh, country and blues type of strumming <laughs> Gives it a lot of uh, drive, a lot of sustain, 
little bit more crisp, not quite as a uh, boxy of a sound as you might hear on some of the smaller body guitars in the LG ones. I'm going to go ahead and play um, some fingerstyle stuff. Uh, again, I'll do sound clips, though. That might be a better sound of these. Um, what this guitar really excels at is uh, some finger-picking blues type of things. <laughs> capo on, play a little further up so you can hear how it sounds there, capo at the fifth fret on this one. Obviously not the kind of punch like a dreadnought, but still a, a, a very good amount of depth to it. Um, you, it plays really mellow and rings out all the way up the neck. Just all over a really great fun guitar. Um, good sound to it. They sound great mic'd. Um, they sound awesome as a couch guitar. Something that is not as big and doesn't put your shoulder all the way up like that. So. <laughs> Please check out the sound clips. Um, I will be on email if you have any questions about this at all. Happy to answer them. Thanks for listening.